about different types of cosmetics, creams and supplements that can help us treat our acne. But seriously, is there a potential way that can help us treat our acne for good? Hello and welcome back to our channel. This is Dr. Fatima and today we're going to talk about the fastest ways to get rid of your acne. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. If we want to define acne in a different form, we can say that acne are the infection of your sebaceous glands, which are the oil glands on your skin. That is why sometimes you see redness and inflammation on your skin, and sometimes you see even pustules, which are the mixture of white blood cells and bacteria cells on your skin. Most of the time, when we see a white pustule, we figure, let's just pop that zit and clean it out and we assume that it will go away, but actually it doesn't go away and it will turn to a scar and sticks with us forever. But what is behind the infection of our sebaceous glands? The answer is some hormones called androgens. Let's assume puberty period. In this period, we have a great shift in androgens in both men and women and a great shift in estrogen in women. But what if we are not in the puberty period? Are there other factors that can lead to increased androgen levels? Well, we have a protein in our liver, which is called SHBG, which is the abbreviated form of sex hormone binding globally. And this protein keeps estrogen and testosterone attached together and actually keeps them inactive in our blood. You should know that having a lot of active estrogen and testosterone is really dangerous for our body. That's why in our body, only about 1 or 2% of estrogen and testosterone are in their active status. It's been found that people who have bad acne have lower levels of this binding protein, and this can cause an excess in the level of your free testosterone. And this free and active testosterone can cause enlargement of the sebaceous glands, more oil and more infection. So what causes low levels of this binding protein? You might be shocked, but the answer is high levels of carbohydrates in your diet. Considering that in your teenage years of your life, you consume the highest amount of carbohydrates and at the same time, you have the highest amount of androgens in your blood. So it's just the perfect storm for developing acne. Makes sense, right? There are also some other factors which can cause this situation. For example, in a fatty liver disease, the more fat you have in your liver, the less of that binding protein you're going to have. So what can we do to help our liver in working properly and producing this binding protein? Firstly, you should decrease the amount of carbohydrates in your diet as much as possible. And most importantly, please stop snacking. You can use milk thistle tea or its supplements. It is a perfect natural herb which helps the liver to recover and normalizes its fat. Another cause of high levels of androgen in our blood is high insulin levels. And a really, really efficient natural herb for this problem is bear brine. Bear brine is a natural herb which is really, really similar to metformin. And metformin is a medication which we use for treatment of diabetes and acne as well. But as you know, there are some side effects with each medication. So what's better than using a natural herb with similar properties to a medication? Green tea, on the other hand, can help with reducing the sebaceous glands and inflammation as well as helping with insulin resistance. You can use it as a cream or drink it as a tea. Zinc and copper deficiency can be one of the primary causes of acne as well. So using supplements that includes these two trace elements can be really helpful as well. Okay, at the end, I want to come up with a quick protocol that can help you get rid of your acne. Are you ready? Let's go! 1. Don't pop your zits 2. Don't overclean your skin 3. Decrease the amount of carbohydrates on your diet 4. Increase the amount of vegetables and fruits in your diet 5. Avoid dairy products for a while since these products 
have some hormones as well. And finally, six, if you have bad scars on your skin, you can get a high quality vitamin E and rub it on your skin right before bed. If you stick to these tips for at least two to three months, I can guarantee that you will no longer be worried about your acne. That was it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.